So the goal right now is to get some final vocals. I'm gonna line tune these in auto tune, but it's good to get it as clean as possible. You really wanna get the listener's attention. C sharp, C sharp. I'm gonna back away from the mic a little bit. Maybe sing it a little bit stronger. It's starting to get fuller, you can, and I get super, super stoked. And it takes a while, but it's so worth it. So the goal right now is to get some final vocals, even when the production isn't all the way done, but you wanna keep yourself excited. And a way to do that is to get a final vocal and it's sounding really tight. We're gonna use vocal line, we're gonna use auto-tune or melodyne, and, but right now we're just gonna focus on getting the chorus all nice and tight sounding, uh, and we'll continue on from there. All right, so let's listen to this very robotic sounding scratch demo. You said you stay right here with me. Oh yeah, I remember. Okay. Want me from the beginning. Understanding me. Okay, dope. So the drums come in there still. So I think the first logical thing, you always want to think about what the hardest thing to sing is first. And that's that uh, octave jump from the C sharp to the C sharp. Hopes up. And something that Quincy Jones and Michael Jackson used to do when they were tracking vocals for We Are The World, Quincy would have Michael back up from the mic uh, and sing it in kind of like different character voices. Still the same Michael voice, but one voice, well, I'm not gonna sing it, but one voice he'd sing it super close to the mics, one voice he'd sing it super far away, and then in the middle somewhere, so you have that nice blend. And that's what we're gonna do, but not with the entire chorus right now, we're gonna just do it with the lyric, hopes up. Um, and then when I hear that all super clean and vocal lined and timed up correctly, um, I'll get excited to record the rest of the uh, chorus. So let's get to it, why don't we? Make me think it did. We're gonna mute this chorus vocal. Make me think it did. Let's do this. Mm. I have this all in my mind, so I'm actually just gonna delete that. I personally never use playlists. It just gets too convoluted and confusing, but you can use playlists. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so in order for it to be super clean, you have so many liberties, you might as well uh, break it up. So I'm not even gonna sing hopes up, I'm gonna do hopes, just hopes. Um, so if in your song, you have a kind of difficult part that you wanna make super clean, just split it up. Ryan Tedder always told me to do that. Uh, in one of his songs, he, he split up each individual syllable and word, and I thought that was very ingenious. It gets it uh, super punchy. All right, so just hopes. Ho, ho, hopes, hopes. And I'm gonna sing the up a little bit so it sounds connected when I do connect the two. Let's start four before. Hey. Metronome. Hey. I don't know why I got my hair all did up. It's gonna get messed up from these headphones anyway. Hey. Hopes, hopes, and hopes, hopes, hey. hopes. So I'm just, I'm just saying hopes, but I'm still leaving that sibilance there because I know I'm going to say up after it. Oops. So let's drag it down to our first vocal bus group. It sounds like this. Hopes. Um, oh, let's take the altar boy off. Hopes. 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 And I'm going to line tune these in auto tune, but it's good to get it as clean as possible. Hopes. Hopes. Drag this over. I'm hearing a buzzing. I think it's from one of my keyboards. Let me turn that off really quickly. Ah, so much better. Hopes, hopes, hopes. So you want to kind of like we did in the last lesson by lining up drums. You want to take that same approach by lining up vocals. Hopes, hopes. I mean, we have every resource. They used to have to do this with tape, and if you messed up, you'd get fired. So now we have virtual tape, so we can make as many splices as we can, so we might as well use it to our advantage. Hopes. Let's do another hopes. Okay, drag that down here. It's louder so you can hear it. This S, I'm going to drag over and line it up with this S here. Vocal line's a really great tool, but nothing is a better tool than your eye and a physical cursor. Oops. Oops. Hold on, sorry. 
There we go. Mm. Oops. Oops. Still leaving the S at the end. Let's do two more hopes. I'm going to back away from the mic a little bit. Ho, ho. Maybe sing it a little bit stronger. Oops. Lining it up as so, even the end. Hubs. Hubs. One more. Hubs. It's starting to get fuller. You can, and I get super, super stoked when it starts to sound like a clean group of vocals. Hubs. Hubs. You know, in these last two, I'm gonna sing like you gotta pretend like you're a different person. Uh, uh, because if you're just making this alone uh, and you only have your vocal texture, you got to kind of pretend to be someone else. So just uh, put format your voice a little bit, like some, some, uh, so. My voice would be like hope. So I'm gonna instead go hope, hope, and you're gonna get a different vowel shape, and it's gonna blend really nicely. Ho, ho, ho. Hopes. I'm gonna give myself some more pre-roll. Hopes, ho, ho. Hopes, hopes, ho, ho. That was actually good. I like that one. So, just soloing all these, this is what we have. We have, and it takes a while, but it's so worth it. You want something to take a while because if it's going to be around forever, you want to listen to it forever. Hubs. 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 These are just C sharp, so I'm going to take in, well, let's do a. Uh, Advanced auto tune. Let's just take the E flat out. Let's take the C so it's super clean. Drag that down, drag that down, drag that down, drag that down, drag that down. Hops. 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 Okay. And now, now we're going to do the up. Up, up, up. But, okay, so here's the thing about my voice. Uh, if <laughs> Maybe if I had a better voice or like a wider voice on like the top range of things. I'll sometimes do this with my voice where I'll sing a lower note and then pitch it up because the vowel shape will be a little bit more consistent um, with what I'm singing. So if I sing up, it's going to sound kind of thin and nasally. But maybe instead, let's just solo record and then hopes up. Let's turn the auto tune on. Let's sing an A natural because if I transpose that A natural up to a C sharp, it'll sound it'll sound better. It's hard to explain, but turn the metronome on. Up, 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 up. I'll do it again. Up. I like that last one. Uh, up. Uh. Go into your audio suite. Mm hmm. You're gonna go up four, format it one, two, three, four. Um, put it in graph so it's not hitting any tune. Nice and clean. Let's see here. So you want, I'll make this bigger so you can see, you wanna blend the end of that S into your up. Like this. Hopes. Up. Hopes. That, that sounds Hopes. kind of. Robotic, you don't want that, so you just drag it over a little bit. Hopes up. Hopes up. Hopes up. And it's okay if it sounds a little cutty there because it's only one layer. Hopes up. Hope. So it'll make more sense when you add another one to it. Hopes up. And then. Hopes up. Let's do another one. We did A natural. Oh. <laughs> up. Let's see. I did the first one. Hopes up. Hopes up. I like that one. Take go back to audio suite. I don't know why I X'd it out. Mm. I find this so fun. <laughs> I really do. It's like super entertaining. Hopes up. Hopes up. Hopes up. Hopes up. And while we're at it, let's just take that and. Hopes up. 
just line tune that, make it super on the grid. Reset. Boom. There. Just a little glitch. Oops up. Oops up. Oops up. Oops up. Oops up. Oops up. Up. So now I have. Oops up. I'm gonna bring this over here. Oops up. And blend this one now. This one should sound a little bit more natural. Let's see. Oops up. And still sounds a little bit. You wouldn't like have that as like the lead, but we have four more to do. Oops up. Let's do it for real now. Let's put this auto tune back on. Hopes up, sup. Hopes up, hopes up, hopes up. Hopes up, and then. Hopes up. Bring it down. Hopes up, and hopes up. One more. Hopes up, and then. Hopes up, and then. Clean. Hopes up, and and now in kind of our goofy voice, Hopes up. like Michael McDonald. Hopes up and hopes up and they get that air in there. Hopes up and they and one more. Hopes up and they and finally. Hopes up and they hopes up and they. It's pretty good. I would do more, but we won't go too crazy. Hopes up and make me think. Let's go crazy. Two more. <laughs> now let's do it for real. Like, hopes up! And think about it. You'll be recording one lead vocal before this and look forward to a nicely grouped vocal coming up to it. So, hopes up! Hopes up! Hopes up! And then. So that supernatural one is going to be blended in with these kind of Frankenstein ones. I also just realized that these are not at zero. Now it'll sound better. Okay, so we have one layer of hopes ups, plural, uh, with the super attacky uh, nasally kind of thing. Now we want to add like four hopes up to the baby face method. Hopes up. Hopes up. Hopes up. And this is doing this is gonna glue it all together. My song See You Again had 180 background vocals on the chorus. So we won't do that right now, but you get the point. I love background vocal layers. Hopes up and make nice. Wants to sound like Tears for Fears. Hopes up and make ah, now we're getting somewhere. I think two more and we're good. Hopes up and make me think. Take these off. To a lot of vocals, we're gonna drag the record channel down, staying organized. Again, I could easily auto tune these, but you don't want them to sound super robotic. That's why I'm trying to get taking extra care to make it as clean as possible from the get go. Hmm. I have some reverb on this B track here, so it's uh. So hear the difference between this layer. Let's take out the C natural because I hear myself kind of hitting a C natural. Advanced. Take the C natural out. All the way down. Mm -hmm. So those are a little more gentle. And these are a little bit more in your face. Hopes up. And together you have Hopes up. a nice group. I might even go as far as at the very, very end of the breathy chain, just taking a little lows out. Hopes up. This is before. Hopes up. This is after. Hopes up. Just a little thinner. I think that sounds good, so I can copy and paste that to the next part. Starting to come together. Okay, so to recap, we started off with the hardest part of the song, 
which was kind of gluing together these very far apart notes, these right here. Oops. They sound kind of unnatural, but you don't need to really worry about that because you're going to double it a bunch of times with Oops. actual times that you do it. So when you mend the two together, it sounds like you did it perfectly, which is the goal, of course. Oops. Oops. Um, there was one layer, uh, which is like the frontal nasally kind of layer. And then we layered that layer with a more breathy layer, which is this right here. Oops. Took a little bit of lows off that, added some uh, uh, additional reverb right on the channel. And then when you put it together, it sounds like this. Why you gotta go 